All right, dust shoe. We're gonna discuss a dust shoe today. So here's the one I originally made for this machine. It's got a three inch brush. I've got a smaller one that I never use, so I won't even discuss it. It's got three rare earth magnets in it. And uh, you just stick it on and you're good to go. I have this off right now so we can discuss it. But this just clamps on, stick my shop vac hose in there, and uh, we're good to go. So this has the reverse of the three magnets in it. And there's a slot cut. So this is cut to fit the spindle. Cut a slot, I don't know if you can get the background here. Cut a slot in there, drilled and tapped for a screw. The screw tightens the hole shut around the spindle and it's a secure fit. So the reason for the update is that I have a four inch dust collector now. So I would like to have four inch hose out here as such. I think I'm gonna get a lot more suction, a lot more volume that way. So I've got 10 feet of a uh, four inch hose, put a plastic end on it, um, cut it off so it's about three quarter, measure the distance, and I'm designing basically this exact thing, only bigger so that I can push this in. Uh, I prefer to not have it in there permanently so I can pull it in and out because I like to be able to take it out leave all this connected and then suck up some more stuff and then stick it back in. But I might not be able to do that with the four inch. And I can always clean up with a shop vac or clean up with something else. But that's the plan. So we're gonna try to make a new dust shoe. And uh, this one served me really well. Uh, it's not my idea, uh, but it is a good idea. And it's, you can buy them, they're expensive, 120 bucks or whatever, so. Some of them are more, some of them are a little less, but uh, we got a machine to make one. Let's uh, make our own. Hey, BLT Venture here. We're gonna uh, design our dust shoe. Um, this is what I've got so far. Pretty, pretty simple. I'm not gonna go ahead and draw every line and everything. You know, obviously we're gonna, this is the top piece. Here's the magnet pockets. These uh, little dish outs are for my thumb to push the bottom piece off. Um, this line represents where the screw is going to go. There's the um, slot for compression on the spindle. So the spindle will go up here. The four inch dust board will be down here. Um, here's what it'll look like in 3D. So I'll press magnets in there, possibly glue them, cut my slot after this is all cut out, and I will drill a pilot hole the size of a, like uh, whatever screw I use, an 832. Whatever an 832 drill size is, I'm going to drill through here. Then I'm going to oversize drill just this portion. Then I'll tap this. Then I'll insert the screw. Then I'll cut it out, or maybe I'll cut it out first. And that's how it'll clamp on. And then my press fit or possibly glue in fit of the four inch dust collector right here. So that's what it's gonna look like, the top piece. So I I did this, you know, drew a circle, offset, drew a circle, offset, connected lines. Uh, trimmed out a couple of thumb holes, inserted some half inch pocket holes for the magnets. Pretty simple. I don't think I need to go through all that. But then I took this outside profile before I cut out all this stuff and saved it and saved the magnets and then created a new file which would be the bottom piece. And then I flipped it. I mirrored it. So I used the mirror tool over here. 
and mirrored it so that the magnets would be opposite the top. That way I can cut this all out from one side and when I, f when I flip it over, the magnet holes should line up. That's the theory. Anyways, so these two lines here are my um, broom groove lines. So that's going to be a pocket. This will be an oversized hole, just a little bit bigger than the spindle, so it doesn't interfere and it can come on and off easily. This will be a little bit oversized also, so it doesn't interfere with the dust sucker part. And then this will be the outside profile. So if we see what this will look like in 3D. That should be what it looks like. Obviously not yellow, it'll be clear, but I'm just doing it for ease of viewing. So I'll have the magnet stuck in here. The broom will jam in there. It's usually if I get it right, it's a press fit. So we'll give that a shot. Well, I'm going to make a practice piece. So I got a half inch piece of MDF clamped down here. <clears throat> I got a quarter inch bit in the spindle. I'm going to use my old dust shoe for this because it's going to be messy. So we'll just clamp that on there temporarily. Stick our hose in there. All right, now we're going to Zero out our bit so it knows how high we are here. <laughs> so now it knows uh, where it is. I'll zero the X and Y somewhere in the middle. About there ish. Put on the dust shoe. And uh, we'll try cutting this part out. Cut out the magnet holes next. Now we'll cut out the whole part. All right, I'm going to cut the circle parts of this over again. Uh, I'll leave the dust collector off so you can see what's going on. Uh, just going to oversize this one a little bit. 
about ten thousandths and see if that makes a difference. like the fit we're going for. Yep, I like that. So that's how I do the practice piece. And uh, I should check a magnet, I guess. Those are probably a thousandths too small. So I think I'll up those a thousandths too. piece of acrylic on here. Just gonna mark center. And then I'm going to uh, I kept that MDF below it so because now it's gonna cut through. But I'm gonna have to hold those circles down because we don't want those flying out and breaking a bit or whatever. So I'm gonna drill holes where those circles are going to be, screw that down, and then I'll probably screw a couple pieces into this MDF so that the whole piece can't move around once you cut out the inner part. You don't want the inner part to move either, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 